What's going on YouTube? Just right here. So in today's video we have an important update to Misaka Package Manager, which is basically a jailbreak alternative for iOS 16.0 up to 16.6 .6 beta 1, excluding iOS 16.5.1. Misaka works on all devices and it allows you to tweak your device and install themes and small cosmetic tweaks like fonts and stuff like that without being jailbroken. This video is brought to you by AnyUnlock, a software that allows to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM and remove SimLock. Check the program out in the link below. So Misaka version 3.1.5 is now available. A full article is available on my website on what this is, what it does, what tweaks are possible with Misaka, and what's changed from a version to another, what iOS versions are supported and stuff like that. So everything you need to know about Misaka Package Manager is available in here on my website. To keep it short, basically Misaka Package Manager allows you to install tweaks on your device without being jailbroken. You can change the font, the status bar, the dock, you can have themes that customize your icons without shortcuts and stuff like that, they really change the icons of the applications. You can customize the lock screen and the passcode screen, stuff like that. You can enable supervised mode, disable OTA updates, change the notification banner color, there are a lot of things you can do without being jailbroken and without being detected by applications that check for jailbreaks. So this is quite great nowadays when all applications have jailbreak detection. However, yesterday we got a brand new update. And three days ago we got another update. Those two updates I did not cover on the channel but they're pretty important. Both the version 3.1.5 which is currently the latest and 3.1.4 include a lot of new features. For example, Color API is now available and there are more features for developers to be able to make new tweaks much easier on Misaka. But there are a lot of bug fixes and stability improvements, especially to the KFD exploit, but also to the general application. They have several features that were added to the file manager because yes, Misaka also includes a file manager like Filesa on a jailbroken device, but it's directly inside Misaka. And it also says in here that it fixed a heating bug in Mac30Cow. So if your device is using Mac30Cow, for example, it's running 16.0 up to 16.1.2, then in that case, a bug that was causing overheating is now apparently fixed. For the rest of the people who use KFD, the KFD is also receiving a lot of stability improvements. You can see that almost every update to Misaka contains KFD improvements and stabilization, especially for newer devices. And yes, this does support newer devices as well. You can see here on the website all iOS versions that are supported, as well as the incompatible versions, and also what devices are supported. And you can see that even iPhone 14 Pro is supported. And Misaka actually supports repos for those tweaks. You can add repos from developers that make Misaka tweaks, just like you do on a jailbreak when you add repos for tweaks. It's a great jailbreak alternative, especially nowadays when jailbreaks are so rare. But yeah, definitely go ahead and update the version 3.1.5 because it contains a lot of fixes and new features. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time, peace out.